Hello in TV land, it's your boy Freelancer Joe, ready to once again get cracking. Ooh boy Freelancer Joe's feeling mighty mighty pumped today, mighty mighty jacked, and could it be because he had a good day? Could it be because the weather outside is quite nice, although a little warm and humid for my taste? But after a couple of cloudy days, it's nice to have the sun out. Could it be because Freelancer Joe just finished his workout and the camera froze and I was going to comment on how jacked I'm feeling and no doubt how jacked I looked. Now let me get my camera back up. What, what, what? And get the preferences out again. Ah, anyway, as I was commenting upon, come, come out, blah, blah, blah. Keep the momentum going, Joe. Keep the momentum going. I was commenting on how jacked I no doubt, well, I feel, and no doubt how jacked I look. Mm -hmm. That's right. Could it be because I looked in the mirror and realized once again how fabulous I look? It could be all of the above. Or it could just be because I'm happy to be bringing you another episode of Freelancer Joe. It could be. But then again, anyone who personally knows Freelancer Joe also knows that he's a bit of an introvert, so... Unless he's been drinking a little bit of the funny juice, he's generally not all that happy to actually have to talk to people. Well, except his honey bunny. Always happy to talk to her. But, no, no, I think it might just be the, um, yes, yes, the post-training endorphin rush after yesterday's kind of mud, mudly. After yesterday's day, when I kind of muddled through it at the end, I guess it's a stark difference between uh, not having any uh, good hormones going through the body versus having good hormones going through the body. I mean, I always have testosterone going through my massively masculine frame, of course, but I mean, uh, hmm, is it oxycodone that comes? Well, I know oxycodone is after sex. I don't know about training, though. I mean, there's something that gets released. Or maybe my body's just relieved to actually have to, it can stop moving the weight, so. Eh, it could be. But whatever it is, I'm glad that you are here to join me for another episode, and an episode in which I shall demonstrate my knowledge, my skill, my intelligence, and my artistic, artistic, definitely not my speaking style or eloquence. I was going to say my artistic talent, but that's a bit, bit much, a bit presumptuous, although I am, of course, an artiste. Hmm. Well, no, I guess I'll go with my uh, artistic merit. Eh, no, because there are, and as great as I am, I am humble enough to admit that there are, no doubt, many, 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 many other more talented people than I when it comes to the uh, artistic uh, skills. Inspiration. Judgment, uh, uh, knowledge, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know ugly when I see ugly, and I know good when I see good. And I may not get like abstract stuff or, or postmodernism, which is not art. Ooh, good thing this is an art channel, otherwise I'm sure I, I would just get flamed in, in my uh, comments. <laughs> I'm sure if this wasn't our channel, I'd have just as many uh, viewers. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah. anyway, anyway. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Do love me some LaCroix. All right, enough rambling on and babbling and jibba jabba. What's another good one? Uh, rambling, babbling, jibba jabba, chattering? Uh, mm. Um, I would, all right, I'm going to cheat. Uh, well, 
let me go ahead and lower my resolution first and lower my size. Yes. Now I'm going to cheat. Easy. When you have the internet at your disposal, synonyms uh, Babel. Though it's probably going to go do something like uh, running brook or some stuff like that. Talk rapidly and continuously in a foolish, excited, or incomprehensible way. Eh, yeah, that's pretty close. Uh, I mean, that's the actual definition. Am I foolish? Speaking foolishly? Sure. Excited? Eh, incomprehensible? Okay, I can go with that. Dribble? Gibberish? Blubbering? Eh, don't like blubbering. I knew chatter is there. Not gossip. Gabble? Gabble, gabble. Gushing, no, uh, jabber, mur, no, no. Prattle, ranting? Hey. No, I'm not ranting because I don't have a very specific subject. But I am running off at the mouth and running on. I'm not spilling the beans because there's no secrets. Talk the, the, yakety yak. I'm, ah, well, I'm yakking, definitely, but I'm a yakety yakking. Patter, prate, prattling on, pattering on, cackling, no, I'm blurting, eh, no. Blurting kind of implies I kind of held it in. Gibbering, not gibbering, I like gibbering. But no, nothing's going to be yakety yakin. She read yak, 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 yakety joe, I like that, that's good, yakety joe. Alright, uh, alright, so enough, enough of my yakety yakin. Let us dive into things. So, where did I leave off yesterday? Right. So, I had... Well, let me see. Yesterday was Tuesday. So, Monday, I ended up by having... Oh, wait. Sunday, I laid the groundwork, the infrastructure for the sidebar. Monday, I added the sidebar. Yesterday, I broke out the sidebar into separate component and made the items configurable. It's like, oh... We doubt you, Joe. We don't think those items are configurable. It's like, oh, oh, you doubters. Doubters. So, view. I'm going to change this to view. Yakety Joe. And, um, um, view Yakety Joe. See? Configurable. Configurable. Great. That's awesome. Change that back. All right. So, <clears throat> what does that leave me with? Well, so I mean, the big difference between this uh, template and the other templates is the sidebar, of course. Um, but then we need to add a little visual uh, panache. A little flare. Now, what did I want to change? Uh, okay, so first I wanted to center this. And this is the top bar. So let's take a look what we got here. Okay, well, let's take a look first. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Expect the element. Ah, Alright, so this. No, that's a little too. Okay, here we go. Top bar, at bar, color secondary, at bar root, display, flex, hmm. how about this, the tool bar, padding left, padding right, display right, hmm. position relative, well, the position is fine, atom center, hmm. Hmm. Flex. Flex direction is column. Yeah, column. All right. Uh, okay, wait. So, why is. Oh, did I specify your size? Oh, because of your flux. Okay. There we go. That's why. All right. All right. So I believe your flux is one. Typography. Hmm. 
Yeah, top bar from flex. Now I could wrap that in a div. Top bar flex. All right, so if it's a flex, right, flex. Flex ring show basis, okay. Uh, justify content, let's try center. Oh, online items, center. Uh, flex direction, row, column. Hmm. Hmm. Div stop heading. That's that guy, so that's fine. Okay, so I think what I might have to do. Let me see. I suspect I might have to wrap that button title. Wait. Title. Let's see if you have to. Really? Uh, uh, uh. No, there's a navigation button, so that's right. Uh, top bar, top bar, Joe. All right, here we go, here we go. So we got toolbar, right? And we got the button, right? We got topography, and then the social buttons. Okay, so what I'm thinking I do, no, it's already a div. That is so weird. Well, I mean, I could say the width is 75%. Width. 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 Width 75%. No, 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 no. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try this. Div. You don't have that. You have this. And I need to wrap you. Oh, gee. Okay. Can't say I'm surprised that it's all that different. <laughs> so we got you, and then we got the typography. Interesting. I must be missing something here. Let me see. What can I do about topography? Style, typography, general, uh, size, theme, typography, and let's see what the API. There. That's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Align equals C center. At least I think that's what I wanted. Who knows what one really wants? But that is exactly what I wanted. All right, so we got that. So let's clean this up a bit so I have a standard formatting. Uh, I like to, I really should make up my mind about what order I want these attributes in, but uh, whatever. Okay, so that's that, that's good. Now what other, well, hmm. 
Do I leave this bottom bar here? Well, I mean, does it hurt to have your contact info more than once? No, not really. Ooh, wait a minute, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's the uh, it's the style sheet. I remember that. Okay, that's fine. I just have to remember to manually copy that over. Ugh, so many things to remember. Hmm. All right, so now what is the other visual panache I would like to have? Well, what I'm thinking here is once again we also have. I would have like your name above here, or possibly your company logo. And then another nice little divider to separate it. Maybe I would change the color too. All right, all right. So let's see. D -d 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 -d. Sidebar. So what is this? This was draw paper, render navigation buttons. This was a tooltip. Was this a? Hmm. Draw paper with. I don't specify a format. Yet it seems to be smart enough to be displaying it as a row layout. That's interesting. Do, do, do. With a flex direction column. Curious. I guess it's smart enough to know. Okay, so let's see. Now, what we want, we being moi, we're going to go ahead and, uh, now, let's see. It's a shame I don't have an icon button here. But let's see, render navigation buttons, okay, control V, classes.flux, which I assume I still have, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, can you guess what's next? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, hmm, probably should have a, little, probably should have a space between these. So UICFG, this is title, ah, these are items, these are items, mm -hmm. uh, hey, I'm going to do that, basically I want to set it up the same way I have that set up, go figure. All right, so sidebar da, 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 is an object. Said object will have an attribute, which I'm going to call uh, buttons, links, items. And we'll call it items for now. And in items, we're going to put the navigation things. Or maybe I should rename that to transitions. Eh. Right, but in order for that to work, we're going to need to change this guy because it goes through that. So sidebar dot. Do I say items? Attributions. Items. Cards. Mm, uh, views. I'm gonna call it views. So sidebar dot views. Okay. And then we're going to pull sidebar bar dot label. Lovely. Isn't that lovely? Label. Let's say uh, your name or logo. Now obviously, I'd have to change that because I don't, right now, this is a typography thing. 
uh, and not an actual image link like I do on the cards. In which case, I'd have to insert uh, either an IMG tag or a card media. I don't know. All right, so that's sidebar not label classes dot flex. Uh, is classes dot flex defined? Yes. Do we have topography? Yes. All right, let's see if that works. Whoop, nope, not that. Oh, you know what else I forgot? I didn't forget something else, but uh, all right, built. But something wasn't defined properly. Hmm. Off the top of my head, what would it be? CFG default sidebar. I saved all, right? Oh. Ugh. Yep, yep. Capitalization matters in these things. Computers can be so literal sometimes. All right, there we go. So that's centered. That's good. Ooh. Mmm. Uh, you know what? I bet you it did it. Bet you it was the flux thing. There we go. Okay. Your name or logo there. That's right. Probably want to increase the padding. Uh, but, but classes dot. Uh, Let's just say label because that's very generic uh, header header label. So instead of flex, we call this header label, and instead of okay, and that's fine. I know we're not going to do flex. Do I want to increase the padding? margin bottom perhaps because mm, well let's put the other component that we're missing that I forgot to add before and that would be the the uh, mm, uh -huh. divider yes yes something nice a nice simple thing to break things up so let me see something like that Probably just import divider. Do I have divider? Yeah, nope, not seeing divider. So let's go ahead and import the divider. Why must things divide us all? Eh, why not? Let's see about divider, if that will work. Oh, yeah, I know I use it in other places. So the drawer. Our label or icon, our divider, and then our buttons. Now, it may not style correctly. Wait, didn't I get rid of that flux? No. And actually, I should have checked. Uh, yeah, the divider didn't style correctly either. No, oh, there it is. Very teeny tiny. All right. <laughs> Let me see here. Spec element. So we're going to need to change the style on that bad boy. HR divider root. Really? Hi. Um, what are you, what, what am I thinking here? What am I thinking here? What is inset? Yeah. Don't like it. Ugly. Ugly. Like I said, I may not know much about our 
art, but I know it's ugly. And that's ugly. Uh, header div. I'm gonna go with. Was, oh. Let me see here. Let's go with. With. Mm, 75%. Ooh, that's not good. Because that thing is a column, but it's not centered. All right, fine. We'll leave it at 100% then. Am I being lazy? Yeah. Margin. Is it margin or padding? I think it's margin. Let's go with um, 16. Oh, yeah. I like that. Um, although, now that I think about it. Hmm, that was on the divider root. Where do I change styles? There's got to be some other place. I know I use styles in uh, styles on the divider. Do I just do I override the root or what? No. Okay, that's what I do. I never actually liked Popeye. You think I like some some brownie sailor beating people up, but hmm. Nah, I just it's kind of annoying. So instead of I said header div, but we're gonna call it divider with we leave alone margin. Well, that's twenty four. What does 24 look like? I don't know. Let's ask Jack Bauer. Well, 24 is fine. And then the one thing I wanted to add was... I'm not necessarily sure I'm liking that top thing. Let's double check that that works. Hmm. I might have to get rid of that tooltip. It doesn't register correctly sometimes. Okay, that's not bad. That's not too bad. Alright. Well, we are almost out of time so let me go ahead and commit these changes so that I don't lose any of my precious work I mean I just shifted some text over displayed some additional text and um, added a line and that's why I don't get paid the big bucks not yet get status get commit dash am sidebar styles get push add in my password oh crap miss there we go all right and i think that is going to wrap it up for today's episode um again i'm Still probably not going to dive into into anything more after the camera stops rolling, uh, because now it's really a style thing, and um, I have to find my artistic muse. Well, muses are always artistic, aren't they? But I have to get that uh, those juices flowing, and so you know you can't you can't rush it. You, you can't rush an artiste such as myself. Uh, at least when it comes to that. And that's also why I create the templates, so I don't have to wait for the muse to come visit me. Um, so I'll wrap this up for now. Thank you for joining me. I hope you will, well, I hope that you will at least uh, found the episode somewhat distracting. And that you'll join me again tomorrow or whenever the next time you feel like watching another video. Um comments or suggestions down in the box below uh like and subscribe 
if you are so inclined. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And that's you. Take care and God bless.